this hearing has started. Uh, the, we only have, like we've got uh, Commissioners Phil Melton and Rocky Preston are currently here, but they're with the Budget Committee, but I'm just going to open this up and say this first 30 minutes is kind of for public commentary on the budget itself. If there's any questions that you have about the budget, uh, you can just present them uh, to the commissioners of the budget committee, and I'll represent the mayor's office where I can. I'll I'll chime in, but it seems like we've got a, we've got a department head here as well. So right now is the time to uh, speak or forever hold your peace. I mean, this is this first 30 minutes is going to be dedicated solely to the budget. Um, so just present yourself to the front, make your comments. If there's any questions, we'll be more than happy to address them. Uh, as we go. I think what I'll do, I'll defer over to uh, Commissioner Preston and uh, Commissioner Melton. If y'all got any comments y'all would like to make publicly about the budget process and how we got to this point. Mr. Preston, District 2, um, I'm here to fill any questions anybody's got about the budget. I'm probably going to wait to give my conversation about the discussion of the budget for our next meeting. Uh, that being said, I'm going to give the floor and, and uh, turn it over to the citizens. We've got our finance advisor here as well, Mr. Steve Bates, who's been our finance advisor for, I guess, a good, what, 10 budgets now? At least. Back. 
Now, Barry Barnett, the last month when I was on this commission and I turned around and asked him, had we paid anything back in contract? We had not. He said, oh, yes, we did. I said, what was the resolution and when was it? He looked at me and he said, y'all told me we're going to pay it back and you didn't tell me how. I said, we haven't paid back one dime. Okay, so now the hospital money is below three million. It's below three million. You borrowed a little bit last year for it. Plus, you deducted money from debt service, right? So this year you're borrowing a little bit more. At some point, you cannot keep spending like you're spending. Y'all need to, y'all really need to go to the mayor's office and you need to ask Gene and uh, I'm like, and Ashley to give you a printout of all the departments, what money they have turned in and went back to the general fund and do I want. Okay, I like the sheriff. Don't take this wrong. But the sheriff, the sheriff's budget is equivalent to Henry County's. And I want to know in this budget that y'all have, presented to write on tonight, is the commissary money and the phone commissions, is that going back into the general fund? Or is he going to keep that to the general It's going back into the general fund. Okay, if y'all pass this budget, Every month, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to tell you that y'all need to learn to say no. And y'all haven't done it in eight years. I respect all of you, you've got to say no. And if you're not going to say no, you're at the point right now where you've got to buy the big one. And I'm not for it, but I'm for y'all deciding how long y'all want to keep on operating in the red. How long? And we didn't pay, we didn't pay the 1.8 back. Now you're below three million in the hospital money. 2.7, is it? 2.6, something like that. Miss all of them know this gal right here. She was chairman of that finest to me. <laughs> I hate hearing you. Well, you want me to, I'll, if you want me to commentate a little bit, I'll, I'll Sure, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not putting fingers at you. I'm just saying that y'all need to think about this. Now, I'm not for a property tax increase, but at some point, you've got to buy the big one. Uh, based on the hospital fund, let's talk about the hospital fund. As you know, it's been continually going down, which, and the back, the, the, the question about a balanced budget. Uh, there's a legal budget and then there's a balanced budget. And so Benton County operates under what's called a legal budget. And so these are projections throughout the year. I would contend that probably by the end of the year when the audits actually come through, the budget was probably generating a surplus each year. We generate a surplus to make up for whatever deficit that we have, but so long as we've got that in cash reserve, the audit, the comptroller's office looks at that as a legal budget. It doesn't mean it's, it's the best that we can do. And, uh, you know, from the mayor's perspective, we tried to get it down to where it showed zero and zero. We've got another $200,000 that we're probably going to realize this year in property sales that would have balanced it. But for a cosmetic item, it just wasn't... It wasn't the best way we were going to show it. So, so we stuck with the, with the advice of, of, the, of the finance advisor and the former budgets to keep it that way. But, but I'm, I'm confident that at the end of the year, we're probably going to show a surplus uh, without a doubt. The, looking at that borrowing from that particular hospital fund, the fact that we have continually driven that fund down should be a warning sign to the county commission that we are we have an up we have a flawed financial model and it's it's the economies that we've been dealing with and but no one wants to talk the tax issue you know and uh, that's something that is not the mayor's perspective this is not my budget it becomes my budget once it's passed but it's an hour budget when you consider over the course of a year we've got to face the hard reality that we don't make all the money that we need to make and we 25 years from now we know that probably the waste management money is no guarantee so how are we going to make up 
$700,000. So that's an issue that I encourage the citizens to bring to your elected officials as much as the commission. We're going to have to talk uh, hard numbers one day. But a budget is a year-by-year -year thing, and there's no obligation for government to necessarily plan way ahead. The budgets are a year-by-year -year, uh, snapshot of where we would like to go for that year. So I, I entertain all your thoughts and your suggestions, and I believe me, uh, we're getting there. I actually think that this is one of the most debated budgets we've probably had. Uh, we didn't rubber stamp everything. We challenged a lot. We educated ourselves. We informed ourselves. Um, although we may have driven our finance advisor crazy, having to make all the changes, uh, a lot of the commissioners, you know, not used used to a more timely process. I felt that for a new body coming in, you know, we've got new faces on the county commission. That for a first year's indoctrination into the budget process, it was a very beneficial process. So. So if, we're, if we continue to do this next year and the year after year, shame on us. But I felt like this first year was very beneficial to the commission and to the mayor's office, to our finance advisor. I think we all work together very well, and it's a very, uh, very good budget. I'm going to respond, Chairman. Uh, Debbie, Brett, appreciate y'all's good language. You and uh, your input. I disagree with you. I disagree with both of you. I don't think that the county's in financial trouble. And I'm going to give you some numbers that might satisfy you, might not satisfy you. I've got the trial balance from the trustee's office today. It's dated from Friday. This is the money the county had this past Friday. Cash in bank. This is a uh, Apex loan, we got $1.5 million in this one account. I don't have the account number with it. First bank, $789,000. I'm gonna skip some of the small ones. Uh, cash in bank, bank account and Apex, credit cards. That's where people are paying their property taxes with credit cards, $610,000. Investment. In Carroll Bank Trust Investment, seven hundred and four thousand dollars. Investment Hospital Fund, one million dollars. This is the Apex Bank. My understanding through the trustee's office that this money has been moved. It's in the process of being moved to Carroll Bank and Trust because they've had a better offer on interest. So, so that's the reason it's showing up as a million dollars. Six million dollars is a. Uh, Invested in Carroll Bank and Trust. Six million dollars we had invested in Carroll Bank and Trust. Another good one, local government investment pool, five million six hundred six thousand dollars, five million six hundred six thousand six hundred eighteen dollars. That's a total of sixteen million three hundred eighty seven thousand dollars. This was as of Friday. I'm gonna drop down a little further. The general fund as of Friday and my understanding through the trustee's office that the month of July is the weakest for school highway or the county general dollar amounts. Friday, the county had five million sixty-two thousand five hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars. The highway this is five million what? Five million sixty-two thousand two hundred and ninety-six dollars. Is there outstanding checks or something? Other? I can't tell you. This was how much money we had as of Friday. I, don't, I can't tell you. No, that's how much. Yeah, that's not a true figure. It was true Friday. It's not a true figure. It's just like the checking account. I mean, my bank shows that I got lots of money. My checking account that I can tells me I got nothing. <laughs> we'll get to the audited numbers then if you want to after I finish this. The highway, the highway. As of Friday, they had one million five hundred ninety-three thousand one hundred eighty-nine dollars. The school, their dollar amounts has dropped quite a bit. They made a lot of payrolls this month. They're going to receive a million dollars next month from the state. The school has five million sixty-seven thousand eight hundred forty-three dollars. So we're not broke. I appreciate Debbie. I appreciate Mayor your all's input. Um, my thoughts are just different to you all. And I'll save the all of your numbers. 
for our next meeting. Unless somebody got a question about one now, I'm going to go to the floor. And what you were saying is that those may be true numbers, but they're not necessarily always a true depiction of where that those accounts may be. There may be some obligation. I disagree. Out there still that's true numbers, right? But the account balances, but it doesn't mean there's not pledges against those balances that may come in. But but they're going to be very close on here. Forum at 5 30, so this is a mayor's open public meeting uh, based around the budget. If anyone's got any comments simply about the budget, this is a good time to air those uh, concerns or comments or uh, accolades prior to the county commission meeting. Um, it's not a question or anything, but I would like to make a statement as to if you look in the public outside here, there's no public probably even showed up here tonight. And I think part of that is because we don't have the county council supporting the county commission like we used to. Uh, in the years past, front page of the paper, county budget to be approved Monday night, July 15th. Um, it would have also been a, a, maybe a big square that says um, public forum. If you have questions about the county budget, please attend. We don't have that anymore. There's never anything on the front page that alerts the people or lets them know to come up here. So I feel like that's one reason that we didn't have anybody here. Well, I believe that if it was advertised as a public meeting, now it would be on their page nine of a certain block or something of that nature. Right here it is. It was in the very back in the sports section. That is where it was in little bitty letters. Right. And I would be all for We budgeted capital funds for a little bit about exterior improvements. I would love to have some kind of marquee sign like that that, that that you put up in schools and announcing these events here. So if I happen if I happen to put one of those signs up this year, please forgive me, but but I think it's good money spent and that's an excellent suggestion. We've got the uh, incorporation of Facebook Live now. We've got things that are different communication mechanisms now. And so all of them are, are kind of promoted to the public as best we can. As far as the size in the newspaper or something like that, I'll express that to the Chronicle. Uh, you know, this is my first year. I don't know how it's been advertised in the past. So I'm kind of assuming that that whatever was done the year before, we continued the same process this year. But I do believe uh, it can be better. So, and I, I think we do need some type of marquee sign out here like you would find in front of a, a school or something like that. We have, when they did the and it was moved, but we had it. Okay, okay. And we'll get it again. Okay. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent suggestion. And again, we requested money in this budget for some courthouse uh, exterior improvements around for the curbs. Uh, you know, we've got to replace a grain that's not, that's in bad shape. So that would probably be money well spent for the public as well. So thank you for that. I'm new to Benton County. I just moved here three months ago. And I, how many people in this room have heard of Wilson County? Wilson County Fair, Watertown, Lebanon, Mount Juliet. And you all know how big it is, right? What's your name? What's James name? Ricketts. Okay. Um, I understand, you know, people are frustrated about the property tax increase. Um, I was living with my grandmother before I moved here, taking care of her, helping her at home, helping, helping her with bills, and property taxes came due. My grandmother's lived in the same house that they remodeled one time for the last 35 years. Her property taxes were $894 for an acre and a half. And here, and I'm not saying, I'm not trying to point fingers and I'm not trying to say, you know, Benton County has it made because every place is different. But there are people here I know, whereas, for instance, my father's house, his property taxes are $112 a year for a triple wide trailer on five acres. And every home is different. And I understand numbers can be difficult, financial situations can be difficult. But I'm 22 years old. 
I pay attention to numbers. I pay attention to commission meetings. I attended plenty of them in Wilson County, and with it being a much bigger county, there are about 35 commissioners. <laughs> and um, I can say this, um, it's not about who is, how much, in my opinion, it's not about how much you're paying in taxes every year. It's not about how much you're spending on your homes. It's not about what you're giving to the county. In my opinion, the only way to move forward financially with a budget, um, any type of budget that's physically passed, is one you have to work together. And sometimes the citizens of the county, you know, they're not happy about the change. And then there's some people that don't care because they have enough money not to care. And in my opinion, as a young person who has helped pay property taxes and light bills and plenty of bills, it's not easy when you're in a low income situation. And I feel like, you know, my grandmother was even on, on the state, for, well, the county income, um, county. Wilson County has a program for people over the age of 55 that can have property tax assistance. Even with that, she only got a $200 reduction on her taxes. What I'm saying is the state's there to help, the county's there to help, but in, in low-income situations, a property in tax increase can be a good idea or a bad idea. But you have to understand, depending on you people here in these chairs, I don't know all of you, um, I barely know the mayor. <laughs> um, some people in this room financially just don't want to pay that because they can't afford it. But there are people in this county that have the money sitting there and they pay it every year. Write a check, send my debit card, whatever. Um, and in my opinion, Benton County is small. And it's not small as in there's not people here. There are plenty of people. I lived in a community called Watertown, right on the edge of Wilson County, that had 3,400 people living there. And I understand the county is not growing like it should. And economically, this county could do better. Because I work at a restaurant here in town, and I get paid $7.25 an hour. And I do it because it was the first job that was available. And now I'm looking for other options. And having to leave Benton County for work is not an option I want to pick. But people have to understand that this county and many others throughout the state do have low, low taxes on their property. Some have higher tax rates, some have lower tax rates. All I'm saying to you as the commissioners is maybe we should start considering the low-income families that own their homes, but also considering the people in the county that have the money just to pay their taxes every year and not kill them. Because in my opinion, everyone matters. Not just one single side of the mid-class, lower-class, or high-class people. So that's my opinion on your budget. In my opinion, a property tax increase, if I were in a situation, I wouldn't like it. But the county has to move forward, okay? And I understand, and I've been around Benton County, I've been to Big Sandy, I live in Holiday. There's not a lot of housing development here. There's not a lot of growth. And Tennessee is one of the best states in the country to move to right now. Our citizen rate as Tennesseans is growing every day. And if we don't start accommodating people when they look at Benton County for a home to buy or pr property to build on, they're not going to want to move here. My apologies for taking up so much. I propose no tax increase. I, think, I don't know why we would have a tax increase, but that's the commission's. Uh, Y'all determine if you want to. Fund the two hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. Correct. So there's no, there's nothing like that unless someone proposes it. But from the mayor's perspective, we have a, a great and, 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 and this resolution, the tax rate, everything stays the same. Everything stays the same.
two dollars and ninety five cents. But this time we'll adjourn this public meeting. Uh, we've got a couple of minutes. We'll we'll start back here around six six oh one, and then get right back there. This opportunity to do that. We also have the citizens forum sign up sheet up here. If you would like to sign in. <laughs> Thank you.